Hi guys, and welcome to this week's Frozen Friday video. As you probably realized, I did not have a Frozen Friday video last week. Um, unfortunately, I got really sick and I just didn't feel like making a video, getting stressed out by it. So I truly apologize and thank you for being patient and waiting until this week. First off, I want to say Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. In celebration of Valentine's Day, I do have some Frozen Valentine related merchandise to share with you. So let's get started. First off, I have this plastic container. It has a really pretty embossed image of Anna and Elsa on there. And then the plastic outside has a wrapped image of them. This has candy inside. It's a chewy lemon head candy. Berry flavored. It has nine packages of the candy inside. I got this at Walmart for three dollars. The price is still on the back. These can be found pretty easily unless somebody comes to your Walmart and ends up buying the whole set I guess. But I found these at a few different Walmarts, so they had them at every one that I was at. Next, these chocolate heart boxes. I have two of them. The only two that I noticed at Walmart, but they have little chocolate heart candies inside. I did actually try one. It's really good. This one says Sisters Forever. On the back, you can actually address it to someone to and from on there. And these are just basic little crispy chocolatey heart candies. Can't remember how much I paid for this one, but I think it was only like a dollar or two. And then there was this one here. This one says, follow your heart on it. It has Anna and Olaf. And it has the same kind of candies inside, nothing different. And has a little label on the back. There we go. And one thing I saw at Walmart, and I don't know that a lot of other people got it that I'm friends with that also collects Frozen, but I really love the art on it. Which is the main reason I bought it. But it was this box. And it's one of those boxes that you put on your desk at school and your friends put the valentines in that you get. And I thought it was just incredibly cute. I really liked the art on it. I mean, it's all over each side, as you can see. And you can either color it. I'll probably leave it as it is, because I just think it's pretty the way it is. Uh, you can pop out this insert here, and then you can write your name on it and get the uh, valentines. Now, the bonus, of this box is it's got candy inside and here's the outside wrapper that was on it and you do get these little rings here the little snowflake rings this is what the candies look like there is pink ones and blue ones and here's one of the blue ones I tried them. They're not bad. You can actually address them, too, on the back to your valentine. Also, these come with two sticker packs, and they're both identical. This is one of them. But yeah, I thought this was really, really pretty with all the art all over it. And I think my favorite one is here on the side. I think that one's my favorite. Yeah, that was really, really cute. Here's some basic Valentines that I bought. Actually, my husband brought these home to me. He found them at the Dollar Tree. And there's 32 in this box. Here is a little image on the back of the ones you get. I did open this one and I sent some to some of my friends. You get some basic hearts 
to put on them to seal them. And here is one of the sheets. So these look a lot like the ones that came out last year. The ones that came out last year, they only came out with two different kinds that I noticed and they sold out super, super fast. This year I went looking the first week of January as soon as I noticed the Valentine stuff started to pop out. And I'm so glad that I did because they sold out of these pretty quickly as soon as February rolled around. So they didn't have any at the store except for a few little stragglers that nobody picked up. Um, I did go to Target to see what kind of Valentine stuff they had. Um, I got there kind of late in the season, so a lot of stuff was gone. But these are a few things that I did find. I found these. This is a 16 Valentines with 16 bracelet tattoos. I haven't opened them yet, but I'm going to open them because they're supposed to be a poster inside. And I'm curious to see what it looks like. Alright, so I guess this is the poster. It's quite pretty. I actually really, really like this picture. This is like probably my new favorite picture of them. And it says follow your heart as well. It's really nice. And inside. Okay, so you have these little tattoo bracelets. Okay. So what they look like. And there is eight different styles. And two sheets of them. So nothing too, too fancy, but eh, kind of cute. And then you have some more of the basic little heart stickers. Okay, that is strange. I just noticed it says 16 Valentines with 16 bracelet tattoos. And it says four magical designs on the back, but there's nothing else in here but the bracelet tattoos, the stickers, and the poster. So, I don't know. On, on the bottom here, it just says include 16 bracelet tattoos. I don't know, but it says card shown on actual size, so I'm not sure if I was supposed to get Valentine's in this and they just neglected to give them to me. I don't know. I, I, these were four dollars, so I don't know. I might have to buy another one if they still have them next time I go back and uh, see what's up with that. But yeah, that's that, and I got this as well at Target. This is the only one I saw. It was the last one they had, and it does come with a chocolate heart box like the little ones I showed, and a beautiful, beautiful ceramic cup of Elsa, which is the main reason I think that I wanted it so bad, because <laughs> it's one of the storybook art images of her, which I like. But yeah, this was really cute. And it was by Disney Gallery. Which I've seen them before. And does have a little tag at the top. Which you can address if you want to. Now I also have this clock. And it's not really a Valentine's thing, but it's heart-shaped. So I thought I'd throw it into this video. This is a really, really cute clock. And this is the packaging for it, by the way. It's pretty generic. Um, the images on the box itself are pretty washed out looking. I got this at Walmart. It was $6.97. And it was the last one they had, but then shortly after that, they did restock these. But it's just a basic little clock. It's got the, the storybook art on it. And what's really funny about it is it has a little light 
that lights up. And you can't really tell, obviously, because I got it pretty lit in here, but it does have a little, and it's all the way at the, <laughs> all the way on the side. I thought it would be funny if they put it right in the center so you can actually use it, but instead they put it on the side. It does work if it's dark. You can see what time it is, but it's kind of, it's just kind of oddly placed in the clock. And it is an alarm, so it does, does buzz when uh, you set it. But that is the Valentine stuff that I had to share. I didn't really buy a ton of stuff. And I know that there is way more stuff out there this year than there was last year. There was even some decorative porch greeters of Elsa and Olaf. But unfortunately, the Walmarts in my area did not have those. But I did get one of the Easter ones, which I will definitely show to you in a later video closer towards Easter so stay tuned for that but to finish off the video I got another blind bag dog tag so I thought I would open it up and see what I get as a surprise I figured I'd try again hopefully I get something different this time but you never know all right okay this is the sticker i got this time it's of anna oh, that's cool and here is the dog tag <laughs> oh my gosh it is the same one again but this one's a foil one so it's the same exact image but it is foil so at least I got that going for me, right? I am horrible at these. But, <laughs> oh well. I wonder if it's got a different number than the other one does. No, I think it's the exact same number. But this one is foil, where the other one is just plain. With no foil. So, that's that, I suppose. I would love to get an Elsa one eventually. And I do have one more, but I'll save it for the next video. So thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next week. All right, bye.